I'm going to talk about change in percentage or percentage change here. So this is a very easy example. I had $10 on Monday. Hannah gave me $5 for baking Rice Krispie treats for her. So on Tuesday, I had $15. What is the per percentage increase of the money I have Tuesday compared to the money I had Monday? So there's a very simple equation that we can do to calculate percentage change, but it's a very intuitive. If I compare the 15, okay, to the 10, you should be able to see that this is a 50% increase. Particularly, I increased by five. Now, even if I didn't tell you that the five was there, if I just say that, what is the percentage increase of going from 10 to 15? That's a 50% increase, and here's how that works, okay? Whenever you want to calculate percentage of change, the percentage change will equal the new amount minus the old amount divided by the old amount. So in our example here, it'll be the 15 minus the 10, which is the difference between those two, divided by the 10. So even though I, I changed by 5, I'm taking 5 and I'm dividing it by 10. You always divide by the original amount. Now, I like to call it this way. I like to say new minus old over the old. You could use the word original uh, for the word old. I just like saying old because it's, uh, it's just shorter. So it's easy to say new minus old over the old. That gives you the percentage change. Now, I can calculate that uh, slowly here. So the original amount was $10. The new amount is $15. And here's a calculation we're doing to calculate the percentage change. Okay. So let's first we got to take the difference between the two. Okay. And the way we do the difference is we subtract those two. So I'm going to do the 15 minus the 10, and that'll give you five. And you always to get the percentage change, which will be the new minus the old divided by the old, here's what we would do. We would take that difference, okay? So I take that difference, and I'll always divide it by the old amount. Now, I want to do uh, this as a percentage, though. This is it as a decimal. It's 0.5 of a change, but remember, to convert from decimal to percent, um, we can just move the decimal place two places over. So in a spreadsheet, instead of doing that, I can actually have it display as a percent, um, and I can do... Uh, add decimal places or subtract decimal places as I want, but it's going to be a perfect 50%. Now, let's do another easier example, okay? Let's say I went from $10 to $12. Can you see what the percentage change, in this case, it's a percentage increase. What is that percentage increase? Okay, well, since we're increasing by 2, and instead of retyping the formula, I can just do that. It's a difference of 2 by subtracting 12 minus 10. And I can just copy this calculation. You should be able to see 2 out of 10 is 20%. So there's a 20% change. Now notice how these are both positive changes in percent. So I'll move this out of the way. It's important to know that formula. But let's do it with uh, you know, uh, a different amount. I'm still going to use 10 because 10 is easy to do mentally. Compare that to 17. So the change is an increase of $7, but it's 7 out of 10. So notice how it's a difference of 7. Well, that should be a 70% increase. Okay. Now let's do it. Um, let's do a percentage decrease. And this is why I do new minus old over the old. I could say, I could, you could do old minus new if you want, but the reason why I don't like to do that is because I like it to end up positive when there's a positive increase right here. Watch what happens if I go from 10 to 5. Now you'll notice I lost half my amount. So intuitively, it's easy to do that as a 50% increase. But notice how when you use the formula doing new minus old over old, the negative automatically happens because you're going from a big to a small. And similarly, I can go from 10 to 7. That's a difference of 3. And so I'm going to have, and I'll just, I'll just preload the deck here so that no matter what numbers I type, it automatically calculates. Notice how it's a 30% decrease, okay? Now, I want you to guess what would it be if I went from uh, a different example. So let's say I started out with $15 on Tuesday, but I spent $5 on some brownies Wednesday morning. So by Wednesday afternoon, I have $10. What do you think is the percentage change to go from $15 to $10? All right, we'll calculate it. So I'm going from 15. That's my old amount. I'm going to type that first. Now I'm going to type 10. 
Now, did you guess 33.3% decrease? If you guess 50%, here's what you may have done. It's not a 50% decrease. 50% would be, uh, the, the, you might say, well, the decrease is 5, so 50%. Ah, but we don't do 5 out of the new amount. We always take the change. The, I'm calling it the difference. You can call it the change if you want. We take the change in value and we divide it by the original amount. Okay. So, for instance, if I go from 50 to 40, all right, that is a, tw a difference of 10, but it's 10 out of 50. And 10 divided by 50 is 0 0.2. 0 0.2 is a percent is. Um, point twenty uh, uh, percent. Okay, so uh, you can calculate percentage differences easy, and all you need is this little formula here. Again, it's really intuitive. I chose numbers like ten, and you know, um, we could do it with hundred. That would be really easy. If we go from a hundred to one hundred twenty-three, you can see that's a twenty-three percent increase. Okay, if I go from one hundred to let's say I go to the number ninety-six or uh, ninety-six. That is a, well, the difference is four, so it's four out of, it's four out of 100, that's a 4% decrease. So new minus old divided by the old. Notice how I used parentheses when I did the calculation here. Oh, actually, I just, I just did the difference. I didn't need this difference column. I could have gone straight into the formula, but I like you to see that it's always the difference, not divided by the new amount, it's the difference and always divided by the original amount right here. So this is your formula right here to calculate the percentage difference. The change divided by the amount, but the, I, I do the change in a particular order. New minus old makes it to where if you have a smaller new value, it'll, when you subtract it from a bigger old value, It'll automatically get a negative, and negative just screams at you, hey, this is a percentage decrease. You don't have to even think about it. The calculator does it. Whereas if you get a bigger new amount versus a smaller old amount, well, it'll be a positive difference, so that'll be percentage decrease. Now, you try uh, your homework.